So this is what I end up with. So it's a pre-made leader. I can put it in the bag, but I'll show you how it works. Really. Aloha guys, Scuba Chris here. Now, this is what they're calling a, uh, I don't know what they call it. I mean, it's, there's no real name to it. It is, they're being sold as what they call soft bionic lures. Um, there's so many different names. I'm sure there was one company at one time this was under. Um, and of course, the overseas guys um, kind of ripped it off, kind of like Whopper Plopper. Um, a lot of the patent rights don't mean anything overseas. And I tried to find out who started this company. I could never figure it out. I kept getting backlashes all the time. So let me show you how I rigged this up and how this works. By the way, of everything here, I think this is going to be the winner because I'm going for jacks and bonefish along the shoreline. That orange has been my best day, daytime color of any type of lure I've ever used. I think this will work. And just two of each type of color in here. Let's give it a try. Yeah. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pre-make it one liter, just one liter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use 20 pound cigar um, uh, fluorocarbon line. I already cut the line to six feet using one hook for mustad. I like this one, the ultra planks. This is the three yacht size. Um, I'm gonna have two pieces of lead, one five eighths and one three quarters. So that should match with whatever type of uh, bottom I'm gonna use. And there's my choice of lures. So, um, and I'm gonna try with the black one. So let me show you what it looks like when I combine everything. So by looking at this, what can I tell you about it? Uh, very flexible has a split tail. So it's gonna kind of give a, like a teaser effect, but I kind of like this flexibility. And what's nice about it, look at that. It doesn't tear easy, which is good. That means it can survive quite a few hits. And um, this type of flexing ability will make it mimic a wounded fish on the retrieve. And you know, the, this type of Paddle tail design has been proven, um, especially on the retrieve with a lot of predators. It has these 3D eyes on it. See that? 3D eyes. So that's not bad. And like I said, the, the tail section was good. So the I would suggest rigging this the Carolina um, style. You know, that's the one where um, at the end of the rod, you're going to have a swivel or uh, like a ball bearing swivel or a, a some type of clasping system. From that, you're gonna have this type of leader coming down from it. Um, I'm gonna use either a 5 8 or a 3 quarter um, egg lid on the top of that. This is all pre-made ahead of time. I'm gonna use, a, this is a 20 pound uh, test cigar fluorocarbon leader, which means it's not gonna stretch. Okay. So on the, on the end of this Carolina rig, well, I should see right here. This is what I, I use a surgeon's knot to make that dropper loop. And on this side here, I use a Palomar on my mustad hook. So how does this work? So you have to put this through the grommet. And um, this here, it seems to be a good size, good all around size. And the way I figure my size is, I, I look at the gap there and see, look at that. If the, the head of the, the lure can snugly fit in there, to me, that's correct. So you can, um, on something like this, I would probably do this. So many ways of doing this. Or you can, you can go vertical, but I'm gonna do it this way. So look at that. So every time when I pull on this, look what's gonna happen. Look. See that? So, there, yeah, a little bit better. See, so every time I yank up on the look. 
is going to wiggle. It's going to go back and forth, back and forth. See that? That That's the whole reason for this. It is a genius idea. Um, whoever thought of this did a pretty good job. So I recut this from, I had it at six. I'm, five and a half to me is a little bit better. But this is 20 pound test line. I'm going to do one more at 30 pound. I like to come in pre-rigged. I just slap it on, just throw it out, see what happens. And I'm going to have a, um, either the five, I have a five eighths or three quarter. I might slip it a half in there too. So what happens is everything's all pre-rigged, depending where I'm going, the depth, um, the type of reef, topography and everything. That's it. That's all I'm going to use. Wish me luck, but this is how I'm rigging all of this together.